Jonathan, how much weight did you lose? About 30 pounds. Before BK, I was honestly always looking for a consistent coach by my side, Christian base fitness. So it, it helped me in more ways than one. I may have like lost weight physically, but I gained a lot spiritually as well. Just stepping back into church, like it's it's been close to a decade since I stopped going. God wants more out of me. God obviously wants me to be a better person, better self. Awesome. Jonathan, thanks for being here, brother. Let's just kick this thing off with the specifics, what the people really want to know. Jonathan, how much weight did you lose? About 30 pounds. Yeah, about 30 pounds. So, 30 freaking pounds. And how long did that take for you? Uh, from November to February. So we're talking about probably three, three or four months. Nice, dude. Nice, man. That's awesome. That's awesome, brother. And can you like walk people through the process of what was going on in your head maybe before you joined BK and what maybe led to you actually joining it? Um, so before BK, um, I was honestly always looking for a consistent coach by my side. Um, I didn't really know what DK was about until we, we onboarded, obviously. And then I realized that, hey, this is Christian based fitness. So it, it helped me in more ways than one. Uh, I may have like lost weight physically, but I gained a lot spiritually as well. And it's been, it's been good. It's been real good. So nice, man. Yeah. Nice. Man. Can you talk about that a little bit? Like, what does that actually look like for you tangibly when you say you, you gained a lot spiritually as well? Uh, I mean, you, we've talked about it before, just stepping back into church. Like it's, it's been, it's been close to a decade since I stopped going. Um, as soon as I graduated high school back in 2012, I kind of just completely quit the church and then uh, I still held a lot of my my faith behind I guess closed doors uh, the last four or five years I've been very vocal about it but DK kind of brought me back to like a center point where I wasn't just like preaching to people it was more internal growth where I realized that okay God wants more out of me God obviously wants me to be a better person, better self, better to myself as well. You know, if you're, if you're overweight, you're obviously not treating yourself uh, any better than, you know, the, the average person does these days. Um, and yeah, man, God, God definitely wants me to be uh, a savage in one hand, but uh, a clean cut warrior in the other. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So when it comes like to the weight, side of things and the diet side of things that we talked about in depth right when you first started but what were some of the things that you were struggling with uh, from a nutrition standpoint from a weight loss standpoint that you were looking to change just not caring about what i was like you know putting my mouth chewing uh you know sometimes like you you watch like podcasts and you know it was like you don't really need a snack you don't really need the mouth pleasure it's all just up in your head like you can control that uh, aspect like um and that that was something that I had a lot of trouble with just sort of controlling that that issue because you kind of run through life and you kind of wear yourself down in multiple aspects multiple facets and you're not taking care of yourself anymore and really when you start you know for frame of reference I'm I'm turning 30 this year so I definitely wanted a, a better outlook for this decade of my life and then you know 40 could be something completely different. I'll, I'll grow in some other form or fashion at that time. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, uh, I remember you talking about just like the actual control of the eating habits in and of themselves. Right. Um, I remember there was this moment, I think it was right after Christmas or maybe right before Christmas where uh, you had kind of, you know, gone into the journey lost a few pounds and you were asking this question about like, Hey, like maybe I'm going to, budget calories for or like eat this this mcdonald's burger as like a reward oh, yeah. right I, 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 after you know whatever it was like a week or a day of, of being really on track and we had like a little conversation there about like hey like maybe it's not the best to reward yourself with that even if even if it does fit the calories but i mean that's just one funny moment that sticks out to me but what were some of the things that we 
we did to actually help you solve the problem of controlling what you were eating specifically? Uh, so for that in particular was the, the coaching and the funny, funny enough, alongside the coaching and taking photos of your meals sort of puts things into a bigger perspective. And you're like, Oh, you know, this week I was terrible and you could visually see it because you know, not everybody just learns off of, you know, they can memorize things visually. I, I'm not, I can't memorize things visually, but when I see it in a big, big picture, like you definitely start to kind of cringe and kind of recoil at like what you've been really doing and like having those photos within the app and then having the coach and then having you guys kind of like talk me through things. It's like, okay, okay. Like things are slowly starting to click and I'm understanding a lot more of what's really going on with myself. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. That makes a ton of sense. And in terms of, things that maybe you tried before this like what did that look like oh yeah um so i've been in all types of sports uh running weightlifting uh you name it um martial arts uh, as far as like the eating habits and the diets you know i've tried high carb low carb keto uh other types of like high fat diets or um you know, just cutting out all carbs in general and only eating protein, uh, not eating at all. Cause you know, there, there are some times in, in my professional life where it, you would, you would to make, to make, uh, your fitness goals, you definitely needed to like, Hey, just don't put anything in your mouth. Like that was the, yeah, that was the solution to a short-term solution to a long-term problem mm -hmm. for sure. And I, I've been through a lot of different, you know, eating diets or lifestyles or whatever you want to call it. I got you. Why do you think this approach has actually had such a consistent effect when those things didn't? Um, tying it back to like our faith mm -hmm. and, and fully knowing that they're our God or like higher uh, power uh, definitely wants what's best for us um, alongside of a, a brotherhood of other guys that sort of understood where I was coming from and, and weren't more judgmental, but they would like, you know, give you a nudge and be like, Hey man, is that the right solution? Like, do you really want to do that? Like you could choose your own adventure, but is it, is it the right option? Like you could, they see what I don't see from an outside perspective. And that's something I haven't had in a very long time. And, you know, when you're running a gun in by yourself all the time, it's, and you have other people come around you and be like, Hey dude, we're going to help you and give you this helping hand and show you what you could be doing better and optimize your life. Uh, and it, and it's not even like micro optimizations. These are macro optimizations. These are, these are things that, you know, m most athletes I think already kind of understand. Um, I didn't, I was just like full bore going into a wall, you know, not eating all this other stuff. And it, it definitely helped out a lot having like-minded people around to walk me through things. So yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like for you then a, a big, big part of this that was beneficial was actually having the accountability from other men that were going through the same thing. Yep. Yeah. For sure. That's awesome. And for you, like if you had to summarize it down to like one sentence or one paragraph, like what would you say the overall impact of working with us has been? One sentence, huh? Uh, probably the best life change, life changing experience, uh, bar none. Like, and, and it didn't have to be from, you know, from the military or from being an athlete. It was just the brothers getting together to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it, like doubling down on how 
the brotherhood in and of itself, the iron sharpening iron, the community, the accountability, the coming into agreement with guys who can, you know, literally sharpen you was, was a big impact, right? Like we'd say iron sharpens iron all the time. I think sometimes guys forget that it's kind of like a sharp cutting edge that might be slightly painful in the moment, right? But it seems like that in and of itself has been what has made this different than many times before. Like, okay, yes, I needed a little bit of that sharp edge to understand that I could treat myself better. I could treat my body the way that God would want me to treat my body. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. That's awesome, man. That's awesome, dude. And Gote, like, if there's somebody who is listening to this and they're in the shoes that you were in before starting DK and they resonate with your story, why do you think that that person should take action and make a change in their life? I mean, like, what do you have to lose? Honestly, um, a, a lot of people, we invest in all these other sorts of things, all these sorts of like bad habits or good habits. And, you know, we lo- make a lot of long-term bad decisions. Like why not take a chance on yourself and really invest in yourself? Like, we do it for education. Why don't we do it for like ourselves, our body, like internally and spiritually. So yeah, just, just take a chance on yourself. If you see results, man, it's probably because it's working, right? That's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. He had to bring up the the education, the student loan debts that we've taken out. <laughs> he brought it in. He brought it in. The elephant in the room, right? The elephant in the room. It's out there. It's big. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, dude, it's always a always a pleasure chatting with you and obviously we, we've loved working with you and having you in the group um i know you've also uh, had a unique situation where like we're all right here in, in orlando so uh you're a guy that you were at my baptism you're a guy that trains with us in real life uh you're a guy that we really know not just through a computer screen so um it, it's really a pleasure to to serve you dude and have you be a part of this man yeah likewise likewise yeah brother. 